Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to automatically play animations when a view loads. Now in the simulator here, I have an example of what we'll be creating today. As soon as your application loads or a view loads, your animation starts playing. Now you'll see this on some fancy applications already out where you're going through the application or in the menu and you see graphics moving and st just stuff like that. I'm just going to be showing you how to do that. So already I have my project set up. It's a simple view based application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Auto Animation. Now if you haven't noticed already, I have quite a few images just down here, nine all together in fact, and all these images when played together create the animation of the boy kicking the ball. So the first thing we need to do is simply highlight all of them and then drag them into our project. Once you drag them in, make sure you've clicked copy items to destinations group folder and hit finish. And now once we've done that we need to go into our viewcontroller.h and add an IB outlet for our image view for the images to be shown in. So if you go straight to our view controller.h and just after the first curly bracket here we need to start by typing IB outlet space UI image view which is the name of the outlet we'll be using space asterisk and then we need to give it a name and I'll simply name it animation and that of a semicolon and save that. There will be no need for action buttons as it's automatically going to play so there will be no need for your user to press anything to activate it apart from going to a new view or loading the application. And then once you've done that we go to our viewcontroller.m Now depending if you're creating this in a current project you already got made or you're creating it for the first time in the code here we have this little section where if I uncomment it is the view did load section. You may have this uncommented already and may be using it or some of you may not like it was just was but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to get rid of it and type it out all fresh. So just after the implementation hit enter a few times we have a fair bit of room and I'll zoom in for you now. So we need to start by typing dash bracket void view did load space curly bracket and hit enter a few times so we've got some decent room and I can now start typing the code for our animation we choose our start by typing animation which is the name of our image view dot animation images space equals space bracket ns array space array with make sure it's objects as we're using more than one image let's enter a few times there and then just after that we need to now type in every image we have which in my case I have nine so I have to make so I have to type in nine images and to do that we do bracket UI image space image named and now we type in our image name, which in my case I have nine all together, all named ball, then a number dot gif. So I start by typing ball one dot gif, then after the quotation mark we do bracket and then a comma. And just to save a little bit of time, I'm going to copy and paste this line until I have nine all together. So that's one, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then obviously just change the numbers so it plays different images as we go along. Okay, let's get rid of this nil again at the bottom. And then just after the final image, we need to do nil bracket semicolon. 
just so it knows that's the last image to be shown before it repeats and goes back to the top. Then after that, hit enter twice, and then we need to do the how many times we want the animation to repeat and the duration and to tell it to start animating. So we do dash animation set animation repeat count. Now this is how many times you want the animation to repeat. So you can have it repeat once or maybe twice. But if you want that image to constantly play over and over again, so set it to zero and this will make it play and it will never stop. So when you finish that, we do bracket semicolon and press enter. Now we need to do animation dot animation duration. This is how long you want it to play before it is repeated. And I'm going to set a nice steady speed of just simply one. And after that, bracket animation space and we want it to start animating. So we do start animating. Bracket, and it with a semicolon, and then save that. We can now zoom out. And if you want to pause the video here and just catch up on any of that coding, but that's pretty straightforward, so that's all that's needed to be done. Then we go to our view controller by XIB, where we can add our image view. So just simply drag in the image view. I'm not too sure on the dimensions of my image, so I'm just going to have a quick guess and just say roughly about there. And then once you've done that, go to our files owner and then simply link up the animation outlet to our image view. And then once we've done that, we can simply save that and go to build and run. There is no errors or anything wrong with the code. As usual in our tutorials, it's all perfect. So there you go. That's how you make an animation play as soon as your application or view loads. So I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. And if you are going to be using this, I hope it improves the quality of your application and gives a better experience for all your users. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe and ask you to give an important message before I end this video. In the description will be a link to all our apps on the App Store. Make sure you go check them out and download them. The support will be really appreciated. But as always, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you all next week in the next tutorial. Make sure you favour and like the video so you have it for future reference. Also check out the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geekelement.com. Send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you just want to leave us some feedback. And follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as a full list of all our apps which are currently on the App Store. Make sure you go check them out. And most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe.